we're going to be doing some reading <coughs> readings in the Psalms and the first one we're going to be doing is taken out of Psalm 91 all all of the readings <coughs> that I'm going to be doing are going to be out of of course the King James Version of the Bible um, and I would just play these from the other audio recording that I have of the Bible but I don't want to infringe on these copyrights so I will just read them myself even though I have a gravelly voice uh, I'll try to read them as best I can <clears throat> Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the roar of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, and I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. <clears throat> Psalm 92. A psalm or song for the Sabbath day. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of tent strings, upon the psaltery, upon the harp, with a solemn sound, for thou, Lord, hath made me glad, though. Through thy work I will triumph in the works of thy hands, O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring is the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is they that shall be destroyed forever, but thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. <clears throat> for lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish, all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies, and mine ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree, shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Psalm 93 The Lord reigneth, he is clothed with majesty, the Lord is clothed with strength, whereth he hath girded himself, the world also is established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting, the floods have lifted up the Lord, the floods have lifted up their voices, the floods lift up their ways. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness become of thine house, O Lord, forever. Psalm 94 <clears throat> O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the works of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and, the mur and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord shall not see. 
Neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, you brutish among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? He that pl planteth the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He that chastiseth the heathen, shall he not correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chasteneth the Lord, and teachest him out of thy law. That thou mayest give him rest from the day of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up against the evildoers, or who will stand up against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. <clears throat> when I said, My foot slippeth, the mercy, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Psalm 95 <clears throat> Oh, come, let us sing of the Lord, and let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it in his hands formed the dry land. Of course, let us worship. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hands. Today, if you will hear His voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When the fathers tempted me and proved me and saw my word. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, and to whom I have swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. <clears throat> Psalm 96 O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, sing the Lord in all the earth, sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the People give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say unto among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall establish that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. <clears throat> Psalm 97 The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are around him. Of Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlighten the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all of they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. He that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalm 98. <clears throat> A song. O oh, sing in the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm, arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation, his righteousness hath he openly shown in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward 
the house of Israel, all the ends of the earth, who have seen the salvation of our God, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth, make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of psalm, with trumpets and sound of cornet, and make a joyful noise before the Lord the King. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof the world, and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together. Before the Lord, for he cometh to judge the earth with righteousness, shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Psalm 99 The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity, thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. <clears throat> Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among them that call upon his name. They call upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spake unto them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinances. The ordinance that he gave them. Thou answerest them, O Lord our God. Thou wast a God that forgavest them, though thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God and worship his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. The last one we're going to do during this uh, time period is Psalm 100. A psalm of praise, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture, entering his gates with thanksgiving, and in his courts with praise. Be ye thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. May the Lord bless and honor the reading of his wonderful word.